Yes, sir, baby. On the radar radio, yo, special guest in the building. Dice Peso in the building. What's up, what's bro? The word, what's the word, bro? Came out completely iced out. <laughs> I was saying you might have some of the most like chains that anybody's. Yo, Rob, right? He might have some of the most chains that anybody ever wore to the show before. Welcome to the show. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, really, same same thing. How you been? I ain't shy. I was trying to sit down with you for a little minute. And we here, and we gonna have you do a really dope freestyle. You know what I'm saying? It might be out right now. If, you, if it is, make sure y'all go check it out. Yeah. Um, and it was crazy because we were talking a little bit before the interview. So that you you've officially been working rapping in the game almost ten years of, with a few little breaks and things in between. Yeah. Trying to get on for like ten years. That's a fact. Two How years. Did, took his, I took it serious like two years, like strong, like both feet inside. For the past, like past two years. Yeah. Yeah, because I even noticed, because like if you look at your discography, obviously the past few years you've been dropping a, a lot more yeah. than before that. Mm -hmm. Being being in the game ten years, what do you feel like were some of the biggest things that you you've learned or trying to or you know? I mean, learn how to put out music. I mean, like, you gotta learn how to put it out first before mm -hmm. you put it out. I was putting out a lot of music, not making no money off for it. So I started putting, learning how to make money off music, I mean, and putting my money in the right places. Right. I feel like a lot of young artists, like, when their first game started, they don't really know. And, I, and like, even with a lot of the guys that I talked to today, like, the young guys coming out of, out of yeah. the city, like, they're, they're putting out YouTube videos, but they're not putting the things on streaming services. And yeah. other, other people are stealing their music, putting it up on streaming services, making money off them, things like that. It's, kind, it's, it's crazy how, like, those little things can make, like, such a big difference, too, because then you're they not do. making the money off your I'm saying your you want, at the end of the day, you, you pen on music so you can get fans. I mean, right. so why not put your money there? So, like, when did you kind of, like, really learn like how to release music properly like what was like the moment for you were like all right i gotta smarten up i gotta invest in myself i gotta do all these other things just, to make sure that i become successful i was tired of, i was tired of running in the circles i mean you get mm -hmm. frustrated when you run in the circles you're like damn this shit ain't i mean i got real life bills and all that i mean so i'm running in circles it gotta, it gotta make sense i started studying more and i ain't i was never scared to put my money somewhere sometimes you gotta put your money somewhere and, and watch it grow you know what i mean that's mm -hmm. like saving so it's hard for a rapper just to put a thousand dollars somewhere and then wait six months to get your money so your money can flip. You know what I mean, a lot of niggas ain't gonna take that sacrifice. They right. ain't because they ain't used to having money. Yeah. So you gotta be, you gotta. It's, it's like steps to it. You gotta be used to having money too to invest your money. Right. Because that you first leap of faith is like it's kind, it's scary because you're yeah, putting all that like, money into something you don't know it, if you're gonna get it back a thousand percent. And you, sometimes you don't know where it's going. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you just so it's like it's visible. You just, yeah, it's dirt. It's, it's just three bins. You don't know where that shit went, but. Until like probably like six months later, eight months later, then you start seeing. I mean, different people you see this everywhere, and do people buying your music? I mean, but that's 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 something I had to deal with too. I mean, but I was ready for all that. Right. So yeah. when I learned that, I started doing that with the Blanco pack. Right. I mean, and like then the like after uh, after a while, like you don't always see the return. Like it could be like a year from now, it could be two years from now, three years from now. Yeah. Like, I'm sure like that when you were starting, that was also probably on your mind too. Like, damn, like am I gonna yeah. how 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 quickly will I get some of this money back or kind of get to the point where I'm making more than I'm spending to make the music and, nah, that's a fact. My, and in my career too. That's a fact. Like I can only, you know what I'm saying? Cause like even like with this spot, when I first started doing this spot, like I, I spent money doing interviews and stuff like that. And like, you know, it's about like invest. People don't understand that you got to spend money to make money. That's, that's, like the, that's like the overall, the overall message here. That's a fact. And it's, and it's hard to like to um, teach somebody that too. Cause that's, you know what I mean, <laughs> you can't teach somebody how to spend any money. Right. That's why it's, it's, it's hard to do that. You got to do it yourself first. Right, and I know in, in your career there were there was a, there was a time where you almost stopped making music because you know you you had some personal losses. Um, what kind of motivated you to kind of go back into the music and kind of? Because I feel like if it? I don't do it, who gonna do it? Mm. If I don't motivate my, my crew, who gonna do it? Like I mean, that's how I felt around that time. Like, who really gonna sacrifice everything and do this shit? Know what I mean, like I see niggas pay eighty percent. I don't. I don't mean I got I got a hundred percent in it. So that'd be the difference. I don't stop and I ain't stop and go. I mean, when I lost Envy, that's why I took a little break. Cause I, I mean, that was like a first real, real loss. You know what I mean? So mm. when I, when all that, I got better with that. Then I started going hard. You know what I mean? Right. How do you personally like deal with loss? Like, what do you? What's kind of like your process to kind of like make sure that you're good and you know what I'm saying? You get. I mean, I probably old work myself. Kept working. Mm. You know what I mean. I mean, sipping and working, that's it. Working, yeah. not the music. And even, like, in a place now, like, I, it's been so dope to see, like, the place that you've been at this past year, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Obviously, with the with the Jim Jones project and, like, the music you've been putting out and being consistent. How did you and Jim first meet each other? Um, I had um, hit him up for a feature. Okay. I had Sin City. I had him up for a feature, and I pulled up on him. And um, we did a record. I ain't never put the record out. We Was it a good record? Did you like it? Nah, I, mean, I ain't like the record. Okay. I mean, I mean, <laughs> 
<laughs> nah, Jim did good, but I, I just ain't like I ain't like. You don't like how you sound? Yeah, I ain't like okay, my, okay. I ain't like my, how how I came off. I mean, Jim he went crazy on it. I ain't I ain't really, I ain't hear my verse. I ain't lay my verse. I, let, I went there, he did his verse, and I just kept it that. That's another thing, a sacrifice. I spent money on that, and I ain't even, never did nothing with it. I still got the song. You know what I mean? But, but you did lay a verse on it. You just didn't like it. I ain't like it, but I ain't okay. lay it. Did that night? I went back and lay it. I just think it wasn't. Then months done passed, and then he we had you know we had each other on the gram, and he had hit my brother Neff, free Neff, mm -hmm. and um because we had he had Neff had my my album cover as his main pick, so he thought he was talking to me, but he was talking to Neff, <laughs> and Neff had called me like yo call Cabo, he said he said call him, and I called him, and the rest is history, you know what I mean? Now we locked in, and now now you were on his album, which was, of course hosted by DJ Drama, which yeah. is incredible. Yeah. How did that? How did like that conversation about you being on his project? How did that go about? Because what I love about that project was there were so many people on that project who were up and coming artists, artists from the city. Like he really put on for a lot of people on that project, which I love. Yeah, I had had calls him one day. I'm like, yo, bro, you gotta do another gangster grill. And when you do it, actually I got the idea for our body, our body said, yo, niggas gotta start messing with the young niggas. Mm -hmm. So I actually took I took what he told me and I told Jim, like, yo, just do a gangster grill and just get the young niggas on it. And that shit going that's who's streaming right now. Nobody wanna hear nobody else really right now. You know what I mean? So he took the idea and ran with it. Mm. So you gave him the idea for yeah. it. I like that. That was that was a good that was a good you know idea because I, mean? I, I actually I was on a vacation trip that weekend and like that was like the only project I listened to on the plane yeah. on, like on my way to the hotel and shit like that because it was it was fire and it was cool to hear you know Jim doing different sounds but also hear people like yourself yeah. the, the Dusty Locanes the Ross Wishes and everybody else on that project mm -hmm. Ditto. like I thought that that was really dope to kind of that shit is hard that was that was a dope moment for 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 New York that wasn't necessarily expected. It's a right New York away. album. I mean, very New York album, very New York album. Which I love. So, how, so is he kind of like a mentor figure for you now, like in a way? Nah, yeah, that's big, bro. What's like the best piece of advice Jim ever gave you? Um, just be patient and get and get your bag, though. Mm -hmm. know what I mean, even if you get out the back and at the back end, just get your bag. You know, I will personal shit, but you know, we, me and him talk all the time, though. But that's the most thing to get your money. Word. And you turned down a couple deals in your life. Yeah. Why did you turn down? Because I had the money deals? already. Oh, okay. At that time, they was that for me shit I already had. So I wasn't. I mean, it was like it wasn't. It wasn't right. Not no business. Mm. No business wasn't right. I feel like also you know. Well, that's smart. That that of course is smart, but also like a lot of times I guess artists will just like blindly take that money too instead of just thinking about it. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, you obviously like I got yeah, this already. I don't need. Yeah, I ain't Tom. I I need. I don't need this right now to keep yeah. myself going. Because I mean that's that's they they that's they probably don't got a hustle bone in their bodies. So I'm different. Right. I mean, right. they grew up and just went straight. Out. I, I was outside for real, like you know what I mean, like just just different read between lines. But I mean, I wasn't taking no short bread. They were taking, you know what I mean. Facts. And I love when I went on uh, when I went on IG and I saw that there was this uh, IG live right yeah. where, where Fat Joe was talking about you. Yeah. Um, and you guys got a song coming out together. South Bronx. Amazing. Yeah. How did so? Did y'all kind of talk about that before, or like, how did that? How did the connection with you and Joe come about? I mean, I seen him. I was at we was, at, was, in, we was in Miami at Christy, Christy birthday party mm. with my man Doe, and I was like, Yo, I'm gonna do a song with that nigga. I mean, <laughs> I mean, run down on him. Yeah, we, we, we was in the bathroom. We was talking. It been a, a year later. Just keep connecting with him. I mean, connecting with him, and he did it. He said he's gonna do the record. He kept his word. I like how you be manifesting. And shit. then he um <laughs> then he grew up with my pops too, so I mean I had to throw that in there too. A word. So it was I mean, like a fa it was also like you know yeah. little little family ties in there. That's also. a fact. My pops and my uncle, he was cool with them. Like he like real tight. They was they was cool with Tony Montana. He like a forward legend. Mm. You know what I mean, back in the day, so that's how it went. You really, you really just be manifesting shit, throwing shit out into the universe, and just grinding, and you be getting everything that I only everything want, that you be talking it's, about. There's only one thing missing. You know what I mean. What's the one thing that's like? I reckon with Keisha Cole. That's the only thing that's missing <laughs> right now. <laughs> that's you know like mean? that's like the one thing that you really want to achieve in yeah. this music shit is a record with Keisha Cole. Yeah, that gotta happen. You know her? I don't know her, but yeah. maybe maybe I could find somebody. Maybe I could help you find somebody who might know yeah, her. Yeah, that's the only thing we own um, that's missing. You know well, what, I mean? what we're gonna do right here, we're gonna put this out into the world, just like you put the Joe shit out into the yeah. world, right? That's gonna happen. I mean And now I'll put this clip out and I'll be like, happen. look. Me and Dice, we, we manifested this shit on the show that That's he was going to have this record with Keisha Cole. And, She's going to be on the first album, trust me. It's going to go down. <laughs> you said on the first album? Yeah, the first, no, this, this summer, it's going to go down, watch. So you don't consider any of these past projects you put out like albums? They all albums, I mean, but they all albums. But like, I, mean, I guess you're talking about like your, like the, your, yeah, the album, like yeah. the album that everybody's going to, you know. Mm-hmm. 
And we got the 1.5 coming out soon too. Yeah. So what what can people expect from that? And when and when can we? Like I'm rapping more. You know I harmonize a lot in my music. So this tape 1.1.5. I'm rapping a little more. I'm just showing people that I could do that too. I mean, that's all. That's all you're gonna see. Rap. I'm the same. Rich old pain. The pain. I mean, the ups and the downs. The stories. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna make you're gonna make you want to get some money. And I and I like the harmonizer on the first tape because like obviously like I know you could rap rap. Yeah. But I was like, oh, he kind of he he in like a different he in a different zone with yeah, this. Yeah, I got I was my, my own it. lane. Yeah, I got my own lane. You heard? Like I mean, I got my own lane. And I like the shit that uh, I was peeping on the gram earlier. The shit with you and uh you and Fresher. Oh and yeah. Ka- and cocky like yeah. that, that. That shit was dope. So how did how did you make that? How did you link up with them? Um, uh, self self was like, yo, the cocky kite car nigga. He's like, yeah. yo, you gotta do a song with that nigga. He different too. Yeah, he, like he from Brooklyn. Like he gotta do a song with him. So I had um, I had him. I had him. I had him. And I seen he was connected with Fresher. Then I had hit Fresher, and we just locked in. They pulled up to the Bronx. I mean, we got we locked in. We got we could be driving out tomorrow. Them kid, that kid's fire. I'm yeah. telling, I've been saying that. I've been saying that he got a, he got something special too. Yeah. When it comes to like you know, obviously there's a lot of young artists right now popping up every day in the city. And as someone who's put in so much work, you know yourself in in this game, and who is right there, you know, on, on Jim's album, you got your project coming out. You got the record with Joe coming out. What would be your best advice to these young kids right now? Because I feel like a lot of them could use some guidance in this. Um, like professing money, right? And have some patience and then don't get emotional. Mm-hmm. That's the key, <laughs> being emotional. Once you get emotional, you get frustrated. That's the next step. You get emotional first. You don't know things ain't going right, and then you then you start getting emotional. Then once you get emotional, things start getting away from you. you know what I mean, just mm-hmm. don't get emotional. Just just learn that you, it's, it's gonna happen. Just keep telling yourself it's gonna happen. Emotional. Don't get emotional. That's the key. Right. That's frustration. You know what I mean. I feel like, and then you get in your feelings. You start doing other shit you ain't supposed to be doing. Right, which is I feel I was. That's what I was gonna say. I was I was watching something the other day, and they were like, never base your uh, decisions off like temporary you you emotions. You don't, you don't see it like you, even the young niggas. They get emotional quick. They start dissing their man. Mm. Yeah, every, you, you literally see just, it every day on, online. And you can just holler at them. Then it, it fix it right there and there. I yeah. mean, but it's just too much of that. Don't get emotional. That's what, that's my advice. Yeah, I always say things can be fixed with just a simple phone call. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Just one conversation, you could fix things instead of you know, acting off those temporary emotions and just doing you know whatever, whether it be dissing somebody or doing some dumb shit. You know, it it, it could all be fixed really simple. That's a fact. So the 1.5, when's it coming out? Um, March 11th. They pushed it back to March 11th. March 11th. Yeah. March 11th. I was gonna drop it on the 18th, and I was gonna drop it on the 25th, but um, we got some things cooking up, so we are gonna drop like already. You know what I mean? So I'm dropping the 11th now. Nice. Um, and then of course we got the single with Fat Joe coming out in April. Um, and then I got the I just got the um, on the on the tape. I got the I got Dirk on my tape too. You got Dirk on your Dirk tape. Dirk and PB Rock. That's dropping on one point five. Congratulations! That's that, that's dope. How did yeah. how did you and Dirk link up? I've been running around with Dirk for a minute. You know what right. I mean, for a minute when he first started, when he was fucking with Coke Boy, I was fucking with him years ago. When I first when he first started, I was fucking with him. So. But this is like a newer record that y'all yeah. did together. Yeah. What's that sound like? Now it's just hard. You're going to hit on the 11th. I'm excited. You got an advanced link? I want to hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but they, um, there's an idea because he, he dropped on the 11th too, so that's that's the stream idea. Oh, I see. I, I, I see what you're doing there. Yeah. I fuck with that. And we got the joint. Uh, we got like a little summer joint coming with you, Pella, yeah. and Jim too. That's on the Burger King album. And so we got, that's a collective album coming out this summer. Yeah. So tell me about the collective album. The Burger King album is done too. That's with um, me, Jim, Glit, Yellow Tape. Um, King Streets. I mean, Fat Fleet, Jim Jones. You know, summertime. Yeah, that's fire. Well, I'm looking forward to all that. You know, what I'm saying, congratulations on all your success, man. It's been great getting to know you, getting to yeah. be a part and learn about your journey. Um, we about to have you drop this freestyle. I'm very excited. I know you about to kill this shit. That's a fact. Um, anything else you want to let the people know before we sign off here for the day? Is this camera Shout right to over here? Shout out my crew, man. Boss Bray, Yellow Music. Buck Bundles, Ugly, Doe Dollar, Beto, Hard Body, Elada, Dottie, the whole the whole clip, you heard? And that Rich O'Pain, the eleventh. Rich Off Pain, one point five, the eleventh. Make sure you go stream it. Make sure you go run up the freestyle. Make sure you go follow him. Go show love. Support is free. Dice Peso yeah. on the radar. Appreciate you, bro. You're ready. Love. <laughs>